Hello, welcome back to another beer review with um, your, your struggling beer reviewer, JB, who's losing his voice. He's losing his voice, but he's still got his taste. He's still got his smell. So we carry on. We persevere, boys and girls. Right, we got one from a brewery now, which I haven't had one for bloody years, to be honest. It's uh, a bit of a... Was it blast from the past? Yes. Uh, is it a nice blast from the past? Well, it's a bit of a mixed blast from the past, to be honest. We're off to Innocent Gun. And we've got uh, a bottle of their Caribbean rum cask. Uh, picked up from Mozza's for 6.8% ABV. And it's picked up from Mozza's for next to nothing, to be honest. Um, this is the beer to be savoured, it says. It is Caribbean rum cask matured for spiciness and richness of flavour. Aromas of rum, demera, more dried fruits and spice. Warm in malt character with hints of vanilla and oak. The bitterness is understated, leaving plenty of room for a long spicy finish. It is great on its own and pairs well with full flavoured foods like cheese and chutney, cured meats, Fruity puddings, best served ice cold in an innocent gun, gun, innocent gun glass. I haven't got innocent gun glass. I've got St. Austell, so I do apologise. Is innocent gun for that? Um, what do I think of innocent gun? <laughs> I like the original. The original at the time when I first started this channel blew my mind because I never really had anything like it before. But as the years go by, you get a little bit older, you get a little bit wiser. Well, try to get a little bit wiser. And for me, Innocent Gun aren't really on the radar for me anymore because it just don't, you know, we're talking about a matured beer picked up for a couple of quid. I mean, it's, it's that's the thing, isn't it? It's, anyway, I do prefer that label. They've gone back to the original sort of label because they went a bit... Shitty, didn't they, them labels, to be honest. Come on then, let's have a go. Come on then, let's go for a walk. So I'll save the cats. Um, there's the and. The and on the crown. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's typical innocent gum, really. It's a sweetness of vanilla there. A slight hint of spiciness. It smells okay, it does. It does smell okay, it does. I, I don't want to be a beer snob in this beer review. I really don't. But as I was saying, I've had stuff over the years which would blow this apart. Um, so, stick that there. Beer in a glass, as you can see. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like slightly ruby a tinge about it, thinning head, um, and yeah, it's a typical. It's that smell which you get. It's a vanilla-y, sweet, matured smell, which is reminiscent with a, lo a lot of that barrel aged stuff or aged stuff or whatever you want to call it. It's there. Uh, it smells typical innocent gum. Is it a nice aroma? I suppose it's it's distinctive, definitely. It's, it is rather pleasant. But I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Spicy, yep. Yeah. To a degree. There's a sweet, definitely a sweet vanilla essence about the beer um i think it's a little bit thin for me 6.3 is a thinness in there i'm going again i mean we're innocent gun they either work for me or they don't uh, there's a couple of what really did the original and the irish cask i thought was that's probably the best one i've had you know, some exclusive box beers, if you want to call them, which were available on B&M. That's how, you know, exclusive they were. Um, the lager, I can't remember the lager much. I think it was okay. Um, so, 
that you know these flavoured infused beers. I think I can speak for everybody. They'll either work with you or they don't. Um, this one in particular. Um, It does work, but the criticism I'm having on it is you've got the Caribbean spiciness there. It's not prolific. It does remind me, funny enough, of the original with its flavours. It, you know, it smelt like the original and it, it tastes predominantly like the original. Um, so for me personally... It works. It's nice. It's not horrendous. I wouldn't buy it again. Because I know what Innis and Gun are all about. For the casual shopper, I would say give one a go. Um, so, for me, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel special enough anymore. I think that's the that's the key to it. It does not feel special enough anymore uh, because of what I've had over the years. That's really what it is. Um, but like I say, if you are not into your beer and you have it, then, you know, you think, yeah, yeah, that's great. Um I suppose it's like a lot of things, maybe a little bit like music. You buy your first, you know, Zeppelin album and it feels special. Then over the years, other, you know, it, you go back and... Anyway, I'm, no, I'm not going to go on about it because I don't want to Zeppelin. Anyway, Innocent Gun, Kevin, uh Rum Cask, give it a go. If you, if you know Innocent Gun, you know, throughout, then it's typical Innocent Gun. Cheers, everyone.